What's up, Cal gang? Uh, welcome to differential equations. So let's just get started with this first question here. All right, y prime plus 2y is equal to t e to the negative 2t. All right, so what can we do here? Well, can we do separation of variables? Uh, no, we can't. Uh, what we have here is a linear function uh, because you're not just dividing by y on the y side. You have a plus here, basically. So when we have this, we're going to need to do a little bit of manipulation to get this question into like the form that we want it to do. So the first step is going to be multiplying both sides by mu, the Greek character mu. You guys might have learned it a different way. You might not have learned this at all. I'm going to try to explain it in a pretty simple way that's more like meth you know, the method of how to do it, unless of why it works. So we have mu y prime plus 2y, or you can just put the mu here, is equal to, uh, actually, no, I want to do it the other way around. I'm going to do 2 mu y is equal to mu t e to the negative 2t. All right, pretty nice. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take the integral of both sides. But to do that, it's going to be hard. We want to combine these two terms into something. Now we want to have this as something we can integrate. So how are we going to combine these two terms? Well, we're going to use a little bit of manipulation using the chain rule. Let me take a seat here. Okay, so the chain rule, well, let's, let's imagine, let's try to get something that looks like this. So it's going to be mu y and then the prime of that. So if we can take the, we can just take the integral of this and it's just going to be mu y. So what we're going to try to do is get this form mu y prime. So where's my eraser? Here it is. So what happens if we take the derivative of mu y? Well, by chain rule, we're going to get mu y prime plus mu prime y. And this is equal to what we want, basically, uh, mu y prime, right? Okay, perfect. So what are we looking for? We're trying to get this equation in this form. So as you can see here, we have mu y prime, mu y prime. We already have that perfect. Now, what else we got? Well, we have this y here, and then we have this y here, but we have mu prime and then two mu. So what we're trying to do is find out this two mu is equal to mu prime. We're trying to find a mu that makes that work. Okay, so let's do it. If you want to do that, watch this. All you have to do is set 2 mu, what we have here, and we want it to be equal to mu prime. Okay, perfect, right? Now we just have to solve this, basically. So we got another differential equation, inner differential equation. Okay, so this is uh, separatable, right? Let's, let's write this as d mu over uh, dt is equal to 2 mu. That's a mu. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to want to divide by 2, or divide by mu, so it'll be 2, and then dt over here is equal to 1 over mu d mu. Okay, then we're going to integrate both sides, and we'll get 2t is equal to ln absolute value of mu. Um, don't worry about the plus c in this, we don't need it, really. Uh, you might, your instructor might want you to put that, but I don't think it's that necessary. So then obviously you're going to exponent both sides, so then we get mu is equal to e to the 2t. Uh, it would technically be plus or minus, but um, does it matter? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so mu is equal to 2et. Um, let's test this out, right? If we take the derivative of mu, um, so let's say mu prime is equal to 2e to the 2t, it satisfies this equation, right? Mu prime 2e to the 2t is equal to mu 2 times 2, right? 2 mu, e, yeah, it'll be the same. So we found out what works for this. Uh, mu is equal to e to the 2t. Awesome. Now we can continue on. Okay, so like I was saying, um, when we do the chain rule, it's you get it in the form of mu y prime plus mu prime y, which is the same thing as the derivative of mu y and then prime of all of that. So what we can just say is mu prime y, or mu y prime is equal to, and then, you know, mu... I don't know why I did that, t to the negative 2 t. And then we plug in what we know, so we're going to get e to the 2 t y prime is equal to e to the 2 t uh, t e to the negative 2 t. And as you're going to notice, boom, boom, those are just going to be equal to 1, right? Pretty cool. So then we're just going to take the derivative of both sides. So this is just going to be the same thing, except without the prime. So e to the 2 t y is equal to and then t squared over 2. And then what we're going to do is divide by e to the 2t on both sides. I forgot something. <laughs> plus c, of course. Don't want to forget your plus c. 
All right, didn't word the cut. I made a little mistake. All right, so the next step in, this, uh, in, the, uh, in solving this is just going to be divide by e to the 2t from both sides. So let's do that. So y is equal to t squared over 2 e to the 2t plus c1 over e to the 2t. And then our initial condition, y of 1, is equal to 0. Forgot to put that up there, but that's what we're solving for now. Um, let's, let's figure it out. Okay, so to solve it, to find c is what we're doing here. So what we have is y of 1 is equal to 0, and that means that if you plug in 1, so you're going to get 1 over 2 e to the 2 plus c1 over e to the 2 is equal to 0, right? So what value of c is going to make this work? Well, if you plug in negative 1 half for c, it's going to be 1 over 2 e to the 2 minus 1 over 2 e to the 2, and that's going to make it 0. So perfect. That means that c is equal to negative 1 half. And we can go ahead and just plug that into our equation up here, move it back down, and then we're going to get y is equal to t squared over 2e to the 2t minus 1 over 2e to the 2t. And that's the final solution. Yep. All right, so that's how you solve this kind of problem. And um, yeah, good luck on your um, differential equations homework. It feels weird to say that. Usually I say calc homework. But yeah, good luck on your differential equations homework. I believe in you guys.